Hi guys, this is Miss Shortcake and I am here because I've received a couple of questions regarding what type of tape I've used and how does it work and all that great stuff. So with trial and error, um, again, this is not my idea. This is the, I believe her name is the Crafty Christian on um, Instagram and I will double check and let you guys know. So what she does is she got a um, mixed media book. This one is mixed media rough. It doesn't matter. I think as long as it's mixed media. I know there's a watercolor one, um, and it also has like a. It's kind of rough the paper. If if you know this part, I don't know if it will pick it up, but you could see the little dents. So I know the watercolor has the same thing. So I don't know if if that is what allows this not to stick all the way. Um, and you can easily pop them, but so it, this is like called cataloging. And so you're cataloging your ephemera. Um, we've, I've seen people catalog their, uh, wood chip pieces, you know, the, the chipboard pieces. So they catalog it on there. Um, also die cuts that they do. Um, th this is an insert from the paper pad from last year. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but you can do so many things like for example i received um some cutouts from a lady that i ordered um i don't want to provide her phone number but i ordered um some stamps from her i believe and she does the whole stamping up stuff so she sent me a card and then she sent me all these so i could put that here so i know what it, you know i can look and use what i need um I have this to still catalog. I have, you can also use, because I have a Halloween dedicated just to Halloween, which is down here, but I'm going to split it into also Christmas. And then you can use your gift tags that you have still. I have some, I have a few actually. Um, so you can put the gift tags on there so you can view them. You don't have to put all nine, I have what, 16 of them. You don't have to put them all, but at least some you can use and then put away the rest of the stuff. I use those 12 by 12 um, storage containers and I have one just dedicated to all like um, stickers and like um, like this stuff, number stickers. You could use this in here if you want. I might just keep it together just so I don't have to pull them out because they are stickers. And so that's where I keep all my Christmas stuff, all my... Everything's separated by season, I guess, or holiday, whatever. Um, I have this mistletoe kisses from Simple Stories. This one I will put in my in my cataloging book, which is in Christmas down here. This one up here is gonna be. It has like um, everything kind of mixed. This is the Dear Lizzie one, which is so pretty. I love. I have to hunt this one down again, and I love, love, love. And then this is those girls, I forgot the name. Hey, chick, I don't know. <laughs> but you know who these are. Um, so, and then I have a little bit more. So what I do here, I don't leave this empty. Um, I could actually, because I think I still have some more of these die cuts. I just haven't come across them. So I'll start on a new page. And if I need to, then I can, when I'm, let's say I'm done with this page and I can fill it up with something else. Doesn't necessarily have to be the same thing, of course, over and over, but at least you, you have it. It's viewable. So let me tell you how I do this. Um, oh. so the tape that I use, okay. It's a double sided tape. This was on clearance at, at Hobby Lobby a while ago. But what I did is I got the refill tape. So this is, <laughs> it, I guess there's another part that's supposed to snap. Well, I didn't get that part. So I do want to use them. But as you see, these are adhesive permanent, permanent adhesive Tombow. And I still use it. It's easy to pop off. There's no problem with that. I was able to pop this off. You can, I've seen people use these glue dots, the removable dots. I find these at Dollar Tree. I don't know. You might want to search and see if maybe it's cheaper to buy like in bulk these. Um, then now that, you know, Dollar Tree is not a Dollar Tree, Dollar 25, but you do get 36. Um, you can use the Dollar Tree double-sided tape, which I 
do have, but I just don't, I'm remodel, I'm remodeling. I am, uh, I bought new bookcases and got rid of one of small bookcases of my whole room is like where my craft stuff is. It's kind of under construction. So <laughs> that's why I'm like saying I, you know, and some stuff is packed up too. So I'm trying to, you know, organize everything so I can, you know, start using all my stuff this year. Um, I've been really busy with my boys, you know, my boys were kind of, one broke his foot, the other one broke his arm, re-broke his arm and he needed surgery. So that's been like really overwhelming, you guys. But anyways, that's, video's not about this. But anyways, so here is the hip hop. Actually, this is from over here, that space right, uh, right here. That's where I took it from. As you can see, there is no glue. So if you want to remove the glue, okay, I would suggest to you get yourself a gum eraser. I don't know where I got this idea or where I saw it or I just remember gum eraser and it does work. Um, what you will notice is at the beginning, I'm going to pop this one out. See how easy it is to pop. You will see the little tape. It, this one's a blue. I don't know why it's blue, but it has like a little tint of blue. So that's that. So this, you can take it, if the glue doesn't bother you, it's still sticky, you can stick it back on. But if it bothers you because you're gonna use it on a project or whatever, I would suggest to you get a rubber glue. This will take some elbow, as you can see, I already killed the corner right there. But you will just start erasing and that glue piece, piece will start coming off. It's just, I don't know, I would tell you to do circle, motions and up and down so you will see that it's going to change color it's going to look that's going to be like the glue that it's grabbing that blue kind of looks dark now you're almost there and then just keep using that gum glue whatever this is called and you have to kind of do not a whole lot of elbow but it does work and um, just a few, I don't know if the white, you know, that white one that you get at Dollar Tree works as well as the gum tree, the gum tree as well as the gum eraser. But as you can see, no more sticky, it's gone. There's no like nothing on there. Um, this little piece, I don't think it's gum. I think it's part of the paper, but it might be. So there you go. So all you do is, here we go again, I just use a little piece of it, hope you can see that. <laughs> of course I have it the wrong side. I just use a little bit, as you can see, just a little bit, whatever I can use. And then let's bring it back down here. And there it goes. Let's see if it'll focus. And there it is. So it doesn't come off, it's easy. I'm gonna do this one too. Just a little bit. You don't have to see how I have one little piece, nothing here. It's fine. It's a okay. I will use a glue dot because I'm sure I will get a glue dot question somewhere. This is where these glue dots come in. I just think that these glue dots can be used for actual crafting instead of this, you know, like this one just has a little piece right there. Again, I will use it. And use the eraser in case it bothers you that you don't like that eraser you know the the glue the only thing here is that i don't know with the glue dot if it will um allow you to take it off i'm sure it can it's removable but you just gotta erase that glue hopefully you guys are seeing it disappear but Again, get yourself a gummy eraser. I got this one at Michael's. And this is what the glue dot looks like. And let me... Sorry, guys. Okay, so there's the glue dot. There's this little piece. Okay, put it down. Lift it up. Come on. But see, it's a whole lot of... A whole lot of piece, so... Me, personally, I don't like this. I don't like this. I would prefer to use this on something else, but I mean, you could. I mean, it does come off with no problem, but I know I smeared it and make it look like a, like a booger instead. 
<laughs> I have boys, you guys. <laughs> With boys, you know, there's no filter. <laughs> I have a daughter too, but you know, she's my middle one. But my oldest and my youngest are are boys, and man, the things they say. Sometimes you just want to crawl in a hole. So, anyways, so let's move this so it doesn't get in there. But again, I prefer double sided. Just a little bit goes a long way. And the way I cranked this up, because I don't have that other half, remember I told you I didn't get it, is I just roll it a little bit. There's that blue again. Back over here. And there it goes. So you are able to see it. All of this great stuff. You have these with no problem. And whenever you want, they just come up and pop out. See? A little bit goes a long way. And I honestly think it's the um, the roughness of, let me go just get a white page. So you can see the roughness kind of the little holes. I think that's what allows this not to get stuck stuck versus um, versus like the, uh, what is it? The um, drawing paper that is very thin. This is thick, it's thick cardstock. And it's um, 114 pounds, so it works. I'm. I would tell you some people use the composition books also, but it, you know, it's paper. So it's gonna, I can reuse this, the composition book. I won't be able to, but anyway, so I hope I've answered your questions. I know it's kind of a long video and I'm sorry. I try to make it short, but it is what it is. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.